In this tutorial, I want to show you two pomades from Aveda to help you understand humectants and how they work. I decided to call on my girl Angela for this one. Let's see if she can help us out. Okay, Angela, what's a humectant? A hu what a humectant? Mm, you have to use that in a sentence. How do you spell it? Is that like gluten? Like I need to get humectant free? Is that like a new New York neighborhood? Cause you know they redoing everything. Not sure, I'm confused. Girl, I don't know. You don't have to tell me what it is. Okay, Angela, you weren't really any help at all. So let me break this down. A humectant is a substance used to reduce the loss of moisture. Some examples include glycerin, honey, and aloe vera gel. The humectant pomade is designed to attract moisture to hair, making it highly effective in dry climates with lower levels of humidity. It is made with aloe leaf juice, castor seed oil, vitamin E, and an aroma of jasmine, rose, and clove to help add shine, eliminate flyaways, and condition the hair. The anti-humectant pomade is designed to repel moisture away from the hair, making it most effective in humid weather. This one is made with ingredients you may be used to seeing in heat protectants, which includes silicone. That's what repels the water. They don't hurt you. They don't change anything about your curl pattern. They simply accomplish the goal of humidity defense. This one also has a blend of jasmine, rose, and clove, along with castor seed oil. The benefits of humectants are softer, bouncier, more elastic curls when the dew point is just right. But when it's high, they can cause frizz and excessive swelling of the strands. And when it's low, they can cause dryness by drawing water out of the hair shaft. So selecting the right pomade is important. Okay, okay, so based on everything that you said, Mo, I'm gonna go with the anti-humectant pomade. Since I live in New York City, it's very, very humid and my hair gets really frizzy as a result. So I'm definitely ready to try the anti-humectant pomade. First, we are going to cleanse with the Brilliant Shampoo, which I love because it removes buildup, restores softness, and it is specifically designed with textured hair in mind. I personally use this on my own hair when I feel I need a deep cleansing. Next, I am going to use the Brilliant Conditioner, which has a blend of shea butter and plant oils to restore texture. It hydrates, detangles, and gives hair a smooth, shiny appearance. Even though this is a rinse out conditioner, I am going to steam Angela's hair for about 10 minutes to really allow that conditioner to soften her strands. With her hair being color treated, she needs this boost of moisture. After rinsing, I am going to apply Brilliant Damage Control as a leave-in protectant. This spray is one of my favorites because it helps combat breakage with a blend of protein and botanical ingredients. Now it is time to set these curls. I am going to mix a bit of the anti-humectant pomade with the Brilliant Retexturing Gel. Apply it to Angela's hair in small sections and use my Denman 3 row comb to distribute and define. I will coil pieces together more tightly in the back to keep that hair closer to her head and then let the top be more free flowing. The retexturing gel provides a medium hold with nourishing plant proteins for softness, hold, and shine. As you can see, the gel and pomade mix beautifully together. There's no residue or sticky film. I gave this tip on my channel some years ago, but for those of you who don't know, mixing products together in your hand first gives you an indication of how they will act in your hair. If it makes a frothy, sticky mess, reconsider that combo because it's likely to do the same thing in your hair. You're welcome. After all of the hair is set, I am using clips to keep it in place under the dryer. I am going to allow Angela's hair to dry 100% of the way so we don't have any diffusing this time. Total dry time was about 15 minutes. Hooded dryer setting gives a more polished result than air drying, so if you have trouble with your wash and goes, consider this drying method. To finish, I will apply a bit of Brilliant Emollient Finishing Gloss for extra smoothing and shine, then fluff a little bit and situate the curls. These products set very clean, no residue, no tacky film, and what I love most is that I can feel the hold and I see that it's there, but the hair is still incredibly soft. This collection of products was designed for textured hair, so it is formulated to suit the needs of curly strands and it gives brilliant results. You can find the Aveda Brilliant Collection at Aveda stores, salons, and spas, or online at Aveda.com. You can find more in the About section below or by visiting monoshair.com.